Hi everyone, this is Shorya and you are watching Money Time at Money 9, where we will tell you all the news that have direct impact on your pocket. So, let's start today with the news on Life Insurance Corporation. After making a disappointing debut on the bourses, the board of LIC will meet on May 30 to declare the financial results for 2021-22. The meeting will also consider payment of dividend. LIC made its debut on the market listing 8% lower than the issue price. LIC shares were listed for Rs. 872 per share on NSE on May 17, as against its issue price of Rs. 949 per share. The LIC script was trading 1.12% up at Rs. 826 a piece on BSE. The government has also asked LIC to declare the embedded value as on March 2022. This move is likely to instill confidence in the market regarding insurer's transparency. Now, let's move to the next news. Good news for investors. Investors will get to invest in passively managed ELSS funds from July 1, says SEBI. Capital Markets Regulator SEBI has said that retail investors will get to invest in passively managed equity linked savings scheme ELSS from July 1 onwards. The investor's money in such mutual fund schemes will be invested only in large caps and mid cap. The contribution will not be invested in small caps. Next up. Prices of white goods may keep rising despite duty cuts. White goods manufacturers said that they are going to increase prices further. The rise in prices of washing machine, air conditioner and refrigerator could be in the range of 3 to 5 percent in coming times. Manufacturers say they are compelled to take price hikes due to falling value of rupee and continued increase in raw material prices. Washing machines of hair appliances are going to become costly by 4 to 5 percent in June. Washing machines of Panasonic may also become costlier in July. Godrej has said that white goods manufacturers will keep increasing the prices of their products by 3 to 4 percent every quarter from here on and then raw material prices slide. Up next, analysts say inflation in May may increase at a lower rate than April. Credit trading agencies ICRA has anticipated that inflation in May is likely to be lower at between 6.5 to 7 percent. The inflation rate for April was at 7.79 percent which was highest in last 8 years. But because of recent fuel tax cut by center and some states, analysts expect that inflation may come down in May. Although analysts at brokering from Nomura have also said that they expect inflation for the whole current financial year to remain above 7 percent. Next up. Startup firings may continue for six more months. Firing of employees and startups to continue for at least next six months, which is said by expert Ratit Jain, who is a founder of career and employment platform Youth for Work. He said that firing of employees by startups will continue for at least next six months. He also said that couple of unicorns may shut down operations or simply get merged with other. Now, some good news on the plate. You may not have to pay service charge at restaurants. The Ministry of Consumer Affairs will held meeting with National Restaurant Association of India on June 2 to discuss on complaints that it has received that restaurants are still levying service charges on cuisines. According to the official guidelines of ministry, no restaurants can force its customer to pay service charge. Plus, no restaurant can make even payment of service charge as prerequisite to gain entry into its premise. According to the government, payment of service charge in restaurants is voluntary and it is completely customer's discretion whether to pay it or not. Next up, get back to pay 5,000 to rupees 10,000 on state GST on the purchase of E2W. Rajasthan government will reimburse the state GST to the tune of 5,000 to 10,000 rupees that the customers will pay if they purchase electric two-wheelers. The reimbursement amount that customers would get would depend upon the battery capacity of the two-wheeler purchased. E-vehicles have been kept out of the purview of motor vehicle tax in Ashok Gehlot led government. Next up, Delhiites to enjoy a three-day free ride in 150 electric buses from Tuesday. Commuters in Delhi will be able to travel free of cost for three days in 150 electric buses starting from Tuesday. Delhi Transport Corporation has set a target to raise its fleet of e-buses to the total of 2,000 in coming years. There are more than 3,500 DTC buses plying on the roads of national capital. Now, some IPO news. OYO IPO to come after September. Hospitality and travel tech firm OYO is looking to launch its IPO after September. In October last year, OYO had filed preliminary papers with SEBI to bring its IPO. But somehow, things didn't work out and IPO plans fall apart. According to the people in the know-how, 
Oyo will now be bringing its share sale offer at much lower valuation that it had brought in the previous attempt. According to the reports, this time Oyo IPO will be 100% fresh issue of equity shares. Now, let's continue with another IPO news. Delivery jumps 10% on debut. Supply chain company Delivery made a remarkable market debut closing at 537.25 rupees with a 10.32% jump against its issue price of 487 rupees. The initial share sale of Delivery was subscribed 1.63 times earlier this month. The public offer had been the price range of rupees 462 to 487 per share. Delivery provides a full range of logistics services including express, parcel delivery, heavy goods delivery and warehousing. That's it for today. Hope you like this content and for more such videos, subscribe us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.